Hello, gorgeous. Welcome back to the Girlfriend's Guide to Starting Over podcast. I'm your host, Kayla. If by chance you are listening for the first time, welcome to my platform. I am so excited that you found me. And if you're a returning listener, as always, hey sis, welcome back. So in today's episode, we are going to talk about something that I have been doing for years and years, but just most recently realized the importance or magnitude of it. And that is choosing joy. Choosing joy. So earlier this week, I went for my annual GYN appointment that every lady goes to. And this appointment was different because the provider that I had been seeing at the hospital um, for 10 years has left the facility. So like enter anxiety, enter stress, enter who is this person that's going to be like literally checking out my insides, right? So I was a little bit anxious about it. However, it's something that has to be done, and so I put on my boots, <laughs> and, and I head out to this appointment, and I meet my provider, and he is a delightful physician. Like, I am so glad that I selected this person. Either way, he's looking at me, and he's like, is your chart right? And I'm like, what do you mean? Is there something, like, is there a discrepancy? Like, is something wrong with me? And he's like, no, you're 36? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, whoa, I easily would have said 24, 25, like you look so young. And so we launch into the skincare discussion because you guys know I'm a sucker for skincare. I love my skincare. Um, And then I say to him, but honestly, I attribute my happiness. I attribute my vitality. I attribute this like forever young attitude to choosing joy. It's something that I choose to do every single day. No, don't get me wrong. I totally believe in there's that there's this thing called toxic positivity where you just kind of like bury your head in the sand and pretend like the sky isn't falling. And this is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about being unconditionally happy, meaning that no matter if the wind is high and the waves are roaring, that you choose joy, that you find something in every day to decide that, you know what, that made me very happy today. That was a good thing that happened to me today. Because when you focus on the bad, the bad multiplies. Tony Robbins often says that where your focus goes, energy flows, right? Where your focus goes, energy flows. So if you have a bad day or you're going through a bad time and all you can do is focus on the negativity and the thing that is going wrong, you become blind to all the wonderful things that are happening to you. I see this in a myriad of situations. I see this in the girl who's waiting for the ring. And I'm not saying you should wait for the ring forever. Let me be clear. But I do want to say that so often you lose sight of the value of the relationship and how well you're being treated and how good things are because you are perpetually like fixated on when's he going to propose? When's he going to propose? When's he going to propose? I know because I've, it's been me. When you are in a job and you want a promotion and you forget all the wonderful things that are happening for you in the role that you're in, that you're able to lead a department, that you're able to like meet your objectives, that you're able to exceed the expectations. I know because it's been me. Like over and over again, I can point out areas in my life where I have let life pass me by. I have been blind to all the wonderful things that are happening to me because I'm so fixated on the next step, the next big thing, or all the bad things that are happening or the thing I don't don't have that I want so bad, right? So today... As we start July, last podcast episode, we talked about goals and resetting and restarting and start like start new, start fresh. I would like for you to consider where can you choose joy each day? Each day, seek to find something that made you smile, something that made your heart feel light, something that is like, you know what? That was a really good thing. That was special. And it doesn't have to be like the person in front of you paid for your coffee or your house got paid off or your car is paid off or, you know, anything like that. It could simply be the laughter of a baby. 
in the next room. It could be scrolling through and seeing a funny meme. It could be today. What made me happy was I scrolled through and one of my Facebook followers, I love her to death. She shared a picture of herself and her seven children. And it made this big Cheshire grin, like just spread out across my face because every single one of them looked so happy. So this month, at minimum, I encourage you to find joy in the little things, in the tiny things, and the things that we let pass us by each day. I love you, girl, and I can't wait to hear how you've chosen joy this month.